Hey guys, this is Echo at Soundworks, and you're checking out a Coda support video. So I've gotten a bunch of questions since we've released this pack about how much of the sound comes from the oscillators and the custom wavetables and how much is coming from the noise sample or the noise oscillator, i.e. a sample. I would say that at least 90%, I haven't actually added this up, but you'll see in this video, at least 90% of the patches are primarily wavetable based. So for any of the people out there saying, well, it's just samples, well, it's not necessarily true. We took a sample and we turned it into a playable wavetable, and that's a pain in the ass. It's not like that easy to do. It, you gotta edit the wavetable, chop frames out, do a bunch of different stuff, right? Um, and clean it up to get it to work. Now, some patches are layered with noise samples, but they're not the main thrust. So I wanted to turn off the noise oscillator inside of, uh, inside of various Coda patches so you can see that they do in fact use primarily wavetables. Now, the reason we did that is because you can do things like add voices of unison to a brass stab, right? Or you can use warp modes like sync, bend, uh, FM, remap, all that sort of stuff. So that's why we did that. So I'm gonna turn the mic off and just play some patches now.
All right, guys. So hopefully that gives you a little bit more clarity on to how the patches for Coda are constructed. Like I said, most of them use a wavetable, and the wavetable still sounds like the actual real-world instrumental counterpart. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.